Hello students, today we will discuss digital multimeters. A digital multimeter is an instrument which is used to measure two or more electrical values. Mainly DC or AC voltage, DC or AC current and resistance. The block diagram of digital multimeter is shown here. This one is the rotary switch. By properly connecting the leads, we can measure voltage, current and resistance. In digital multimeters, the input to the analog to digital converter should be voltage signal. Therefore, if we want to measure resistance and current, we have to convert resistance and current into proportional voltage value then given to analog to digital converter. The so first one is the measurement of resistance. For that, rotary switch is connected to terminal 1. For the measurement of resistance, the meter includes a constant current source. So this one is the unknown resistor whose resistance is to be measured. So using constant current source, a current is applied through the unknown resistor. So we will get a voltage which is proportional to the value of unknown resistance. So this voltage is given to the buffer amplifier. Buffer amplifier provides electrical impedance transformation from one circuit to another. And the output of buffer amplifier is given to analog to digital converter. Analog to digital converter converts analog signal to digital form and displayed on the digital display. Next is the measurement of current. Using digital multimeter, we can measure AC current and DC current. So, in order to measure AC current, connect rotary switch to terminal 2. In digital multimeter, if we want to measure AC values, we have to convert that into DC, then given to analog to digital converter. So, initially AC current is given to current to voltage converter. Then only we can convert current into proportional voltage value. So, a current to voltage converter consists of resistor. The unknown AC current is passed through the resistor and a voltage which is proportional to this current is obtained. This AC voltage is given to the rectifier circuit. The rectifier circuit converts AC quantities into DC and given to analog to digital converter and the value is displayed on the digital display. Next one is the measurement of DC current. For the measurement of DC current, the rotary switch is connected to terminal 4. The current to be measured is given to current to voltage converter. And the voltage which is proportional to the value of unknown DC current is given to analog to digital converter and displayed on the digital display. Next is the measurement of unknown voltage. First one is the AC voltage. For the measurement of AC voltage, rotary switch is connected to terminal 3. And it is given to a calibrated attenuator. The function of attenuator is to step down the voltage to a value suitable for analog to digital converter. Then the output of attenuator is given to the rectifier circuit and the rectifier converts AC voltage to DC voltage and given to analog to digital converter. Next is the measurement of DC voltage. For that Rotary switch is connected to terminal 5 
and the DC voltage is given to calibrated attenuator and directly given to analog to digital converter. Then displayed on the digital display. Thank you.